So we've got Darren up the ladder today and what he's doing is connecting the solar panels into the connector yeah. and then he's going to drill holes so that those wires can then come down and inside. So we're at the back of the bus at the moment and this is going to be our bedroom area so we've got the small solar panel at the back and that's going to come and be fed in to an area up here and that's going to charge the power arc and then the large one is further down the front and that is going to come in behind the cab and go down in charge our battery bank. So my job today is sorry. to try, I'm just talking to the camera. Oh sorry. It's alright. So my job today is to try somehow and get under here because we have two seats over the wheel arches that are bolted in and we need to get them out. So I've got a bit of space down there and I'm going to try and so I've shoved in the old ceiling and I'm going to try and like scooch myself along on there so we can see where the underside of the bolts are. Wish me luck. So I've got the uh, two holes drilled in the top of the minibus going through to inside. We've got our weather sealing um, I'm not sure what that's called. What's that one called? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Weather sealing unit, ready to be sealed down. And then these connected up to the uh, to the solar panel. And then we'll be almost ready on the top of the van for this one. So this is the second solar panel, the large one at the front. That's the first hole right in the center of the screen that you can see. And then he's going to drill a second one next to it. Yeah, you're through. We want it tight, don't we really? Yeah, we don't know what anything coming in. So we've pulled the two wires through. Darren's done the connector box up on the roof. It's all siliconed in the holes and around the box connector. And when we pulled the last bit through, it pulled some silicon through. So we know that that's pretty good seal all the way around both in the two little holes which are inside the box and then the box is also sealed on the roof. Woohoo! We've got the two, two side seats out as well. And I know I have hiccups. <sighs> so, oh, pardon me. They were bolted into the floor, which we tried WD-40, we tried loosening them. In the end, all four bolts just sheared off. And then, because of the fiddly nature of them, we had to uh, deconstruct the seats and then take all this, <coughs> oh, excuse me, craziness out of the wall. But, that's a lovely big space we've got there now. Oh dear, and I'm starving. It's time for lunch. We're doing the insulation. 
got Darren on his back in so he's lying on the floor of the minibus this is the side we've now got him Doing put in the bubble wrap uh -huh. underneath the existing What are these called? These, this is the um, carpet lined ply that goes from the floor to under the window. This is our setup from the back, all high tech as you can see. So these were in really good condition and the carpeting was tidy and obviously it's the full length of the bus. So I wanted as much as I could to keep these and we managed to lift them up. So I've got an old TV stand holding one end up and I've got the passenger seat holding the other end up. And then <clears throat> for the last hour or so, I've been lying on my back in this little tunnel here, filling it full of insulation all the way up and to underneath the window and now we're using the thick bubble wrap to form a vapour barrier. This is the double sided bubble wrap that we're using so it's um, foil on both sides it's got a good thick bubble in the middle um, and it we just basically the people that we ordered it from we thought we were ordering three packs um, each four meters long but then they upgraded us to this thicker stuff free of charge and sent it all in one long 12 meter roll so uh, that's been a big help. Max thinks it's not very interesting at all. Do you want to spray a bit of this up your end? Yep. <laughs> Hello. Do you want me to spray a bit up my I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm just showing. Oh, What's okay. That? Couldn't quite show you that because we needed four hands to get that piece in place. So basically, we just put some spray on the metal frame where it stands out and then put it in and then it's jammed up underneath here which is the base of the window sill and then we have this thick broad aluminium tape that we then use to seal it up under there and in between each strip. We think that we've finished the whole of this right hand side. Um, so Darren's going to pull out oh. the table and the seat. Oh. <laughs> yep. Great. Yeah. Then all we need to do a screw, a couple of screws in there, and that'll put that back in place. We're fully aware that there's a couple of holes, just as I'm showing you here, where there was a chair, but the kitchen's going to go there, so that's going to hide those. Mm -hmm. um, the majority Sorry. of the. Yeah, the majority of the side panels are going to be covered with something anyway. It just makes it a nice, neat job because all of the window trims are all done in the same stuff. So we're just trying to keep it as tidy as possible. Sunday morning and we've been to Wicks. 
we've got hopefully everything we need to insulate the floor and get our subfloor down. Cool. An Aldi. Nice. We're now working on the floor. We're putting in some polystyrene over the existing floor with some struts as a structure to hold it in place. This side's going to be our kitchen. So we've tried to put these um, side struts in roughly where the <laughs> roughly where the um, kitchen units are going to fall. And then we'll fill in with the polystyrene. I'm just laughing because I'm making a cup of coffee. And if you can see, I've just hidden a couple of bickies for me and Darren on the door. And Max was climbing up on the step trying to get them. So he's just keeping an eye on the biscuits because we still haven't managed to have our biscuit yet. What we're doing now is filling in the underfloor with some polystyrene. It's five centimetre polystyrene. Um, Was it five or two and a half? Two no, and a half. two and a half. Two, yeah. yeah, 25 mil. That was right. Yeah, and um, mm -hmm. we've sort of marked out or we're starting now to work into the middle to work out heavy traffic ways so we'll have extra lats in the middle of this section mm -hmm. yeah. here and this lovely big section is our bed good morning everyone i thought i would just jump in here uh this is in the future to what you're watching um, just to say hello and I hope everyone is well. Um, thank you to everyone who watched the, the last video updating on what we've done in the bus so far. Whoa, you nearly went. Um, just wanted to say Happy New Year and also thank you very much to everyone who watched the video and especially to everyone who commented. All lovely comments, very supportive, very welcoming as always thank you very much indeed um, and we will try to get a few updates out as we crack on with the jobs in the bus um, a few eagle-eyed people might be able to see that we're further on than the videos show at the moment however we're having a bit of a snowstorm I'll just let you have a look there you go, that's completely white out on the bus. And outside in the garden. So I probably picked the wrong time to come outside. <laughs> but um, thank you for watching. Uh, we will keep you updated as much as possible. A few of you do know that Darren has gone back to work for a short for a period of time just to help boost the coffers. This is going to take a fair bit of money to get this bus sorted. But um, we are planning to be back on track, back travelling, you know, a nice big bus. So keep on watching. But thank you very much for your patience, for your support and stay warm, stay healthy and enjoy life. Take care. Bye-bye.